My name is Chris, and I'm part of the team at Spectrum Tuition. If you're preparing for a selective schools exam, one of the most important things you can do is to make sure that you're familiar with all the types of questions you're likely to have to face on the test. Today, I will be going through one of the most common types of questions that you might have to deal with, and I will be giving you some handy hints on how you can solve it. Today's question is, the following diagram shows the first three in a series of triangular shapes made out of matchsticks. How many matchsticks will be needed to form the tenth diagram of this series? We can approach this question in two different ways. Firstly, we could draw out all ten diagrams and then count how many matchsticks are needed to make the tenth one. Unfortunately, this will probably take us a large amount of time, particularly if we ask to find the 50th or the 100th diagram in the series. Obviously, we need a more efficient way. The second way we can approach this question is to use our mathematical skills to figure out a pattern. If we look at the information we're given, we can see that the first diagram requires three matchsticks, the second diagram requires five matchsticks, and the third diagram requires seven matchsticks. So is there a pattern to this? There is. We can see that the first diagram starts with a triangle made of three matchsticks. As the diagrams progress, each one gains another triangle and adds another two matchsticks to the pattern. So, if we are going to express this within an algebraic formula, it would look a little something like this. m equals 3 plus 2 times d minus 1 where m is the number of matchsticks required, and d is the number of the diagram. What this means is that the number of matchsticks needed for a diagram is equal to 3 matchsticks for the first triangle, plus 2 more for every extra triangle that we're going to have to add on. Now we get these matchsticks by multiplying 2 by the number of the diagram minus 1. The reason we minus 1 is that we've already accounted for the first diagram by adding 3 at the start of the formula. Now let's have a look at all the information we've been given and see if our formula works for all of the diagrams. For the first diagram, where d equals 1, then m will equal 3 plus 2 times 1 minus 1. This will equal 3, which is correct. For the second diagram, where d equals 2, then m will equal 3 plus 2 times 2 minus 1, which is 5, also correct. For the third diagram, where d equals 3, then m will equal 3 plus 2 times 3 minus 1, which will give us 7, once again, correct. Now that we know that the formula works, we can answer our question. The question asks us to find how many matchsticks are required to make the tenth diagram in the series. To find this, all we need to do is substitute d equals 10 into our formula. So m will equal 3 plus 2 times 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1 is 9. 2 times 9 is 18. 3 plus 18 is 21. So m will equal 21. To put this in words, we can say that 21 matchsticks will be required to complete the 10th diagram in the series. Our answer is 21.